Hello, hello everyone. This is Man United inside again on it. Welcome back again. Fabrizio Romano says Manchester United are still looking to do business in the January transfer window and are actively looking at opportunities. Manchester United's Chief Operating Officer Colette Roche was this week quoted at a fan forum saying January is not considered the best time for the club to do transfer business. Sure, nobody feels it is better than the summer, but Manchester United should not make the mistakes of the past by skipping the window entirely. According to Fabrizio Romano, Manchester United are still expected to be active in the January window. Manchester United speaking to strikers, Fabrizio Romano disagrees with the suggestion Manchester United will not be making signings, urging supporters not to take Roche's words too literally. Nobody wants a return to Ed Woodward's pledges to do crazy things in the market, and then wildly overspending, so perhaps United are rightly being cautious. Romano said, Manchester United are not looking to sign a super top player. But Manchester United are actively looking for opportunities. It could be one, it could be two. They are speaking to strikers. They have had conversations with Marshall, his future, because it's likely he will leave the club as a free agent in the summer, he could already leave in January, in which case Manchester United are exploring options. They have spoken to representatives for, Doniel, Malin, to representatives around Europe, Timo, Werner, Serhu, Gyrosi, many, many players are in the list for Manchester United for a striker. Then a defender. Don't trust 100% what they are saying, that, they are not going to do anything. Romano's comments are encouraging, although each of Gyrosi, Werner, and Malin are players who would arrive with question marks. Indeed, buying from the Bundesliga in general comes with caution after Jadon Sancho's total failure to adapt to the Premier League. For positions linked while Romano speculates there could be two incoming, a report. By The Guardian claimed Manchester United have identified a maximum of four potential signings for January. This includes a defender, striker, and two midfielders, but this may also hinge on player sales and finances. Failure to qualify for the knockout stages of the Champions League could also prompt a financial recalibration ahead of the window, while the ongoing takeover remains unresolved with unanswered questions. Jean-Claire Todibo explained why he rejected Manchester United before Tottenham came knocking, if Jean-Claire Todibo does join Tottenham in January, it won't be a decision made lightly by the Frenchman. TalkSport understands that the OGC Nice centre-back is Angie Postacogler's top target for the January window after an injury to Mickey van der Ven and some erratic displays from Christian Romero. Spurs have held tentative talks with a League One outfit for the 23-year-old defender who was long projected to be one of the world's best. Signed by Barcelona in 2019 after breaking through as a youngster at Toulouse, it didn't work out for Todibo in Spain, nor did it on loan at Schalke in Germany or Benfica in Portugal. Since 2021, though, he's found a home on the French Riviera with Nice, and he's unlikely to give up that stability easily. Manchester United know that all too well, having tried to land the defender in the summer. They failed in their pursuit, though, and Todibo later explained why. In an interview with Lekip, he said, I'm not going to lie and say that I didn't have the thought to tell myself that perhaps I should play in a top club to increase my chances of playing for France, but there are also guarantees when playing at Nice. I experienced it differently from my previous situations in my career. My thinking was much more in-depth, thoughtful. I didn't want to make a mistake in my choice. I remained very calm, reflection is much more important than when I started. I'm waiting to be presented with a complete project. What is expected of me? Why am I coming? You shouldn't arrive at a club like that. I know what I have at nice. Why go into the unknown? So, everything must be clear. My first transfer, I was 18 years old. The thinking was not as thorough. On top of Todibo's uncertainty over leaving nice, there's the added complication for Spurs of Jim Ratcliffe. The British businessman owns Nice, and is currently in the process of finalising a deal to buy 25% of Man United. Should that deal progress, it may make things even more difficult for Spurs to land their top target, with Ratcliffe unlikely to be willing to sell to a top-four rival. Mason Greenwood hurt us a lot, 
Antoine Griezmann admits Atletico Madrid couldn't stop Man United lonely after Diego Simeone's side blow two goal lead against Hetafe in dying minutes. Atletico Madrid forward Antoine Griezmann admitted his side struggled to contain Mason Greenwood during Tuesday's 3-3 draw with Hetafe in La Liga. What happened? Griezmann praised Greenwood after the forward shone again for Hetafe in a dramatic 3-3 draw against Atletico Madrid in La Liga. Diego Simeone's side looked all set for victory after going 3-1 up, with Griezmann scoring twice to draw level with Luis Aragon as Atletico's all-time top scorer. The hosts also took control of the game despite losing Stefan Sovic to a red card in the first half, but were denied all three points when Hetafe struck twice late on to rescue a draw at the Wanda Metropolitano Stadium. What Griezmann said Griezmann told DAZN, it's a shame because we had made a great effort with 10. It's a shame that Sovic makes two fouls and gets two yellow cards. In the end you hold on. Greenwood hurt us a lot, we couldn't stop him at the end of the game and two goals came. The bigger picture Greenwood's performance follows on from another effective showing last time out against Sevilla. The Manchester United lone bagged a goal and an assist in a 3-0 win for Hetafe. The Liga side have already made it clear they want Greenwood to stay on a permanent basis, although Manchester United are not expected to make a decision on his future until the spring. What next for Greenwood? Greenwood has started 11 of Hetafe's 18 La Liga games this season and will be aiming to continue in the side as he bids to resurrect his career with Jose Bordalas as men. The forward could end up staying in La Liga even if he does not continue with Hetafe. La Liga champions Barcelona have been linked with a move for the Manchester United loanee, while Real Sociedad and Valencia have also been credited with an interest in the forward. And else, Man United have discussed terminating Jadon Sancho's contract rather than selling him. Manchester United have discussed terminating Jadon Sancho's contract, it has been claimed. Sancho has not played for United since August having publicly fallen out with manager Eric Ten Hag after refuting comments the Dutchman had made about his standard in training. Since, Sancho has been training, changing and eating away from the first team, with an apology to Ten Hag the only thing likely to see the winger have a future at Old Trafford. In turn, the 23-year-old has been linked with various clubs on the continent and in the Saudi Pro League ahead of the January transfer window. However, according to Sky Sports News, United may opt not to sell Sancho next month but instead release the England international from his contract. Sky Sports' Melissa Reddy claimed that United are set to implement a more ruthless approach to their process over player contracts in an attempt to improve the culture at the club. Thus, the Old Trafford club will be more willing to terminate contracts if it's for the greater good. Reddy claimed that discussions to this effect have already taken place over the Sancho situation. Should an exit route not materialize for the 23-year-old next month, United will allegedly consider severing ties completely rather than attempt to recoup some of their £73 million outlay. United want to be more culture-focused in their decision.